Welcome. Today I'm going to introduce you to Providencialis Turks and Caicos Islands. We'll look at how to get there, the costs of staying and eating there, and I'll present some photos and videos of the most popular areas of this small island. So join me as we do one of the most expensive places in the Caribbean, affordably. This is Travel by Numbers. Hi, my name's Kevin and welcome to Travel by Numbers. A lot of what we plan for on our vacations involves number crunching. How much is the flight? How long does it take to get there? The cost of our stay? Currency conversion? Taxi fares? Walking times? It's all numbers. I'm going to break things down and show you how you can afford to visit Providencialis, otherwise known as Provo, and experience the world's number one beach, Grace Bay. So amazing. Providencialis is an island in the northwest Caicos Islands, part of the Turks and Caicos chain, which gets its name from the Turks' head cactus common there. It's currently a British overseas territory, having formerly been governed by Jamaica. The island has an area of 98 square kilometers and a 2012 census population of just over 23,000. But the total population of the entire 42 islands in the Turks and Caicos chain is around 38,000. The capital is Coburn Town on the small island of Grand Turk. Providencialis is the third largest island in the area and is served by the Providencialis International Airport, currently undergoing a $70 million upgrade, which will allow it to service even larger international aircraft. The island is safe, but standard tourist caution should always be applied, no matter where you travel. Transfer from the airport to the Grace Bay area takes about 20 minutes. The first resort on the island was Club Med, which opened in 1984, and it's still operating, and it triggered a launch of new resort development. As well, an 18-hole golf course was built on Provo, and of course, consistently rates among the top 10 in the Caribbean. You can golf nine holes for $95 US or 18 for 185. A week's pass is about $750. Resorts on Providencialis are primarily centered on Grace Bay, a beautiful eight kilometer stretch of white powder beach, and it really is white powder. If you've ever been to Veradero Beach in Cuba, or Bavaro Beach in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, or the beaches of Costa Rica, California, or the Mediterranean, you haven't seen a pure, clean white powder beach. And I should mention that the bay itself is protected by a reef system about a kilometer offshore. So while it does get wavy and a bit murky in the last two weeks of November and all of December, this five week period is basically their winter. For the rest of the year, you can enjoy primarily calm and crystal clear waters. You can see right to the bottom and there's no seaweed. When you think about Caribbean islands, you probably tend to think of all-inclusive resorts, sort of a party central atmosphere, lots of drinking, too much food. Providencialis is not like that. There are only two all-inclusive resorts on Provo, Club Med and Beaches. So if there's only two all-inclusives, then what are the other resorts? Well, they're condo resorts owned by people like you and me from around the world and rented out. Most of the resorts have their own restaurants too, but you'll usually have your own full kitchen with a rental of a two bedroom unit or greater. Resort staff are there to ensure your stay is a pleasant one and will help you by calling taxis, making restaurant recommendations and reservations, or just helping you get your bearings. The country uses the American dollar as its currency. There's a restaurant and accommodation tax of 12%. So when booking resorts, make sure you account for the added charge if it isn't already in the advertised pricing. Other than that, on this island chain, there's no sales tax, no personal income tax, and no property tax. What the government did implement is a 30% surcharge on all goods coming into the country. This surcharge is valid on everything except a one-time exemption to bring your own personal goods into the country if you're moving there. 
And by the way, if you do want to move to Provo, uh, Provo uh, and acquire residency, you'll need to invest at least one million U.S. But all political parties are interested in elevating Turks and Caicos as a viable retirement option as the infrastructure desperately needs an influx of foreign investment beyond tourism. Anyway, one trip to Graceway IGA grocery store will reveal that 30% import tax I was talking about. Food on the shelves and in the freezers is priced at two to three times the same item costs in Canada. We'll look at those numbers in a bit. So let's take a bit of a tour around Providencialis. East of Grace Bay, you'll find the Bite Settlement. It's here that the reef comes ashore and there's free public snorkeling at the Coral Gardens Reef. It's a fairly large roped off area whereby you swim around a preserved area. You'll see all kinds of underwater life including sea turtles, lionfish, barracuda, brain coral and much much more. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that Provo is a world-class diving destination. On Thursday nights at Bite Park, you must attend the weekly island fish fry. More than a dozen local vendors set up shop and sell fried fish, lobster, grilled corn on the cob, conch, and much more. Alcohol is also available. As well, artisans sell homemade products and souvenirs. A band plays on an elevated stage until it's time for the Junkanoo band to make their entrance, with Henry the Conk as the island's mascot. This is a 25-minute musical treat where audience participation is encouraged. It really is entrancing. Turtle Cove is a marina-centered area about midway on the island's north shore. Here you'll find great evening dining options at Bachi Restaurante, the Mango Reef, Tiki Hut, or Shark Bites Bar and Grill. Further east on Blue Hills Road in the Blue Hills area of Provo, you'll find Kaluki's Beach Restaurant and Bar, and the perennial favorite of all who visit the island, Da Conk Shack. Try and go on a Wednesday evening, music night, when they have a live band, but ensure you obtain a reservation. It's busy because it's popular, and so much so that they have security personnel assisting with parking. The western half of Providencialis is mostly barren, but is also home to Chalk Sound National Park. You'll fly over this stunning inlet as you approach the airport, and I guarantee you'll never forget it. The three foot deep water is a uniform turquoise and features 265 islets. In an upcoming episode, I'll tell you how you can affordably kayak this alternative paradise and follow up with pool fun, rum punch, and the most amazing sunset dinner. The southernmost part of Provo is home to Sapadilla Bay Beach, a serene and very shallow bay with a soft, almost mud-like ocean floor. Visit the lookout where you'll see an abandoned shipwreck. Sapadilla Bay is right next to Taylor Bay, a favorite with the locals. And while you're in the area, Take Chalk Sound Drive up until you can see the $28 million estate on Emerald Key to your left. 
Visitors to this private re residence will use a drawbridge to get onto the island. Long Bay Beach on the southeast windward side of the island is mostly undeveloped, but due to its steady wind and because it's fairly isolated, it's become a primary kiteboarding destination in the Caribbean. When I was there a few months ago, there were at least five or six kiteboarders enjoying the strong headwinds. At Provo's eastern shore, you'll find the Caicos Conch Farm and the TCI Ferry. The ferry will take you over to North Caicos, from where you can rent a car, visit restaurants and island attractions, and then drive over to Middle Caicos. But note, these islands are cash only, and because they are sparsely populated, beware of your surroundings. Provo is also surrounded by some uninhabited keys, and the exclusive Parrot Key is also nearby, home to villas belonging to the likes of Oprah Winfrey, Bruce Willis, and Donna Karen. Rentable villa rooms here go from $1,000 US per night to over $24,000 in the January to April period. Helping you get around Provo is the major road, Leeward Highway, which runs east-west. Most of the island services are near the highway, including grocery stores, restaurants, churches, and more. The upscale outdoor shopping mall, Salt Mills, is located between Leeward Highway and Grace Bay, and numerous world-class restaurants are within walking distance of this beach. So now that I've highlighted most of the best spots around Providencialis, let's have a brief look at some photos and video from my previous travels to Provo.